Hello everybody, I'm using Green Gel Bacillus Subtilis Biofertilizer again on my natto and this time I'm using soybeans and this is the box where I've kept my soybeans to ferment. This is about after 10 hours and amazingly it looks just like natto. With the weird thing is that it's not completely covered with that white goo but you can see that it's it it has got strings and nice strings. Oh look just like we see it on the TV, just like we see it on the internet. It's close to cementing. I'm just going to keep it that way for a few more hours. And then I think they will be ready to eat. It's again not very stringy, but it's still so much better than the um, kidney beans that I used. For some reason, uh, that Septelis bacteria works best on soybeans. See that? I. I'm just so glad that it's it's finally here. I mean, it's not a. I'm just so glad. I think I'm going to keep this for like 24 hours. Like it's about 10 now, and I'm going to let it sit for 14 more hours, and then I'll see if it gets so slimy that if I pick it up, it picks the beans up with it. I mean, if the strings pick the beans along with the strings, I want it that slimy so that I know that it's completely fermented. About the smell, there is no smell. It doesn't taste bad either, I think. I haven't tasted it yet, like I did kidney beans. The reason why I haven't tasted it is because I'm worried about the allergy. Now, <clears throat> I've read that once uh, the subtilis ferments the soybeans, they basically um, eat, uh, uh, what I know from the microbiology that I studied in the college, I just thought that, you know, uh, these always and any bacteria, they basically um, eat up the sugars and and populate. But um, I read something different about this bacteria, and it says that it breaks down the protein in soybeans, um, which is something different. Or maybe I was just not focusing when they were teaching me in the college classes. So, if that is true, and if that happens, then maybe the uh, allergen protein in um, soybeans will just, you know, it, it won't be an allergen because it's no longer a protein. It will divide into separate amino acids and then... My body will make new protein out of that raw material. So, um, if if that is that, I might not get an allergic reaction. But then, to what extent um, has that happened? So, I'm I'm still doubtful about the allergy thing. But but this is natto, and. I finally am able to make natto at home, hooray, out of what? A biofertilizer. I know it's weird things I do for nutrition.
Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. I am going to eat this with rice and seitan. Um, like uh, uh, if if you liked my video, um, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Did I say that before? Yeah, I think I did. And comment in the comment section below. Bye.